Google hacking. It's a lot of fun, sometimes called Google dorking. Google hacking is just simply using advanced search operators. You have complex search queries to extract sensitive information. It helps you to find vulnerabilities because companies accidentally leak documents out onto the internet they don't mean to. So you use these advanced oper operators to find specific text strings in results. And these advanced operators are cache, link, related, info, site, all in title, in title, all in URL, and in URL. And what we're going to do in the activity is we're going to actually do some Google dorking. And you don't actually have to know, you, you don't have to know how to do it because there's a great place we can go, which you're going to see, uh, that will actually do it for you and you can learn by their examples. So we'll find sites that might link back to a target's website. We can get information like their partners and their vendors, their suppliers, their clients. And um, both attackers and ethical hackers can more precisely and accurately search the web. And what's so beautiful about Google dorking, Google hacking, you'll find spreadsheets and Word documents and PDFs and lists of social security numbers and lists of passwords and network documents. You'll find all sorts of stuff that never should have made it on the web by doing Google hacking. So the place we want to go is the Google hacking database the GHDB. Um, and from there, we're going to do some Google dorking. Google dorks, that's just simply an advanced search string. It uses those advanced operators we were talking about to get information that is not readily available, but Google, bless them, they have searched it for you. And so we can find all that hidden information. We can access pages on websites that are not supposed to be viewable. It's an easy way of hacking, and what we're going to do um, when we do the lab is we're going to go to exploitdb.com to the Google Hacking Database and they will lay it out for us. So here's our example here. Let me just zoom in. So these folks, Exploit Database, uh, these folks, bless them, not only do they have exploits that you can load into like Metasploit or Linux or sometimes Windows, but they, sh show, they show you examples of Google dorks right here. So remember how I said in URL or site? And so like, look at this, in URL, colon, uh, liggttpd.conf, uh, files containing juicy info. And so like you'll go, gee, I don't know how to ever do that. No problem. You can search for this stuff and then they'll tell you what to put in. Or look at this, hardware, software, migration, in title, index of. And look at this, we're looking for spreadsheets and documents and PDFs. Or VAR Miner, Crypto Loot Anonymous, where we can look at uh, cryptocurrency information. Or we can look at um, login portals here, dashboard.jspa, um, or other things. So, I mean, there's tons of stuff. So you can look at, you can see examples of queries to get a foothold into a web server, or to detect the different profiles of the web servers or to find sensitive directories that never should have been located, or files containing usernames. I mean, there's just all sorts of stuff we can do with Google dorking. So it's really kind of cool. So what do you expect? You will see error messages that, messages that contain sensitive information, particularly the layout of the web server, files that contain passwords, sensitive directories, pages that contain hidden login portals, advisories and server vulnerabilities, <laughs> and from there we'll find out exploits, uh, software version information and web app source code. So that is Google hacking.